Hello Collective, Elsie here to do a reading for you. Just thought I'd come here and drop an All Signs reading for you. How are you doing? We're almost to the Friday. For those of you who take the weekend, I hope you'll be planning some self-care stuff out in the sun or with some friends. And um, thank you for clicking here. Thank you for clicking here. I appreciate you already. Thanks so much for being in the comments. Y'all are just loving up on these uh, All Signs readings. So thank you for doing that. And um, I am uh, grateful to come here and do these for you. This is so you can stretch your intuition, right? And it's so it's one it's one reading for all of the collective, and it's for you to know. I mean, tarot is always your perception, right? I always say, take it as it resonates. It is always your perception. So we're gonna start with um, the love oracle, and then we're gonna do you versus them. We're gonna find out who we're talking about. We don't always know. You know, this person isn't always known to you, right? All right. We've got one. We've got two. I'll look for one more. Manifesting miracles. I like it. I like it. Hey, y'all, if you're, if you're interested in a, in a good sale, um, private reading sale, if you're interested, I do have a sale on right now until the 21st. Uh, it's a solstice sale, and it's up to $15 off my readings. You will be able to see all of that in the description. Oh, my brain just shut off there for a minute. Okay, so we'll just take three. Right on. We've got, imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. The thing is, is y'all you'll know that you don't have to pay attention to everything that comes through your mind, right? You can choose to throw some thoughts away when things come into your mind that you're not particularly interested in. You just keep walking and forget about them. And so you're able to pick your thoughts. You don't have to you don't have to pay attention to every thought that comes to the mind. No, you're in charge of that, whether you know that you are or not. Manifesta manifesting miracles. Your dream is soon to become reality. Oh my gosh, those are great words. Trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance. Okay, somebody's in their intuition. Imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for a new opportunity of possibilities for your life. You're manifesting miracles. You're manifesting a sacred union, my friend. Honor and treasure your relationship for it is truly sacred. Somebody here is either about to be in a sacred union or is already in a sacred union. You probably have a sacred someone, but maybe you're not really in an understanding. Or maybe they aren't. Somebody here doesn't realize this is a sacred union. Um, one of you is manifesting miracles and the other one is not sure that they're in a sacred union. So let's take a look at that, how that works out here. Let's start here. Thank you for clicking here. I do appreciate you. So much, so much. If you are interested in a private read, please look below. In the description is where you will find everything you need to know. All right. We're looking at six cups here. Temperance. Temperance and the Ten of Wands. There's somebody here that you know really well, someone that you have nostalgia with or that you've known for years, somebody who maybe you grew up with or that you've just known as a friend. To me, the Six of Cups is friend and lover. I mean, you, you get to decide that. It's your perception, right? Um, but we have temperance here, which is Sagittarius. You could be dealing with someone who is Sagittarius. I feel like there is something with this person. This person might be a healer. They might be helping you try to drop some burdens. Um, the, the temperance card is also alchemy, right? It's like at the right, very... Someone's going to appear in your life, or if they have, maybe they're already in your life, yeah, because you probably know them, and they're going to say something or do something, take an action that produces alchemy, or it's the moment of alchemy, and, and it's going to cause you to drop a bunch of burdens here. Um, they might be bringing you a message from someone, someone you haven't heard from for a while, the hermits here. We've got Virgo energy now as well. So the Page of Swords is here. Someone may be bringing you a message that will cause balance because you're unloading all of these burdens. It's about someone that you've known for a long time, but I feel like they're in the past. The Page of Swords, yeah, is 
there's really it feels like you've been maybe watching each other someone that is in hermit energy maybe you are maybe they are take it as it resonates uh, whatever side is yours pick your side right i intend for this to be your side and this to be theirs but it may work backwards for you it's a general reading and then we have the king of swords I think you're manifesting miracles, my friend. I think the King of Swords is here because somebody wants to get clarity and truth. It feels as though um, somebody who is in Virgo energy, somebody who is very cerebral, could be Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, doesn't have to be. Somebody here is about to learn some wisdom about something that is said to them, a message that is brought to them by someone else. I feel the person that might be bringing in the message is whoever is identifying with temperance. It could be someone who is a Sagittarius, doesn't have to be, but it's the moment of alchemy that you get to unburden yourself because you're going to hear from someone that you haven't heard from in a long time. Um, the, the Hermit is number nine. The Temperance is number 14. Four and one is five, so it could be between five and nine years. Like It feels like a long time that there's been this silence, this Hermit energy. Somebody's coming out of hermit mode, I think. King of Swords. We have the Five of Wands, but there's still a lot of feelings of indecision. Do, should I really do this? It's coming up under the um, the Knight of Swords, sorry, the Page of Swords. So this person is like, should I really do it? This is, it's a hesitancy. They're waiting and watching, trying to come to an answer, trying to gain the wisdom of Five of Wands. I need to, I need to get out of this indecision, feeling like, you know, that it feels like a little intimidating for this person to come forward to you, Collective. It feels as though they've been hermiting and thinking about it, trying to get the right words, knowing what to say. King of Swords is great with their words. That's the lawyer or the judge or the magistrate, someone who's highly experienced with words <laughs> and uh, can use them in, in a certain way. This is someone who's highly intelligent, but this person doesn't know if they want to come forward. They're kind of in this space of maybe there's competition. And maybe I have indecision because I don't need the competition. The moon. Interesting. The magician. I think that you've been stuffing down how you feel. <laughs> yeah, I think that's what the moon is. I think the moon is also telling me that things aren't exactly as they appear right now on the surface why is that because the magician has the words somebody is really good with their words really good with their spelling like yeah that they're casting spells with their words like this is someone who's who's almost hypnotic with their words someone who's really a good wordsmith we have pisces and cancer energy here now Just listening. I think what you can't see is that your manifestation is coming. That you've been manifesting miracles and I think your manifestation is coming and you can't see it. But what I want to say is that you're preparing for it. I feel like you're preparing for some sort of conversation that's going to go down. That you're trying to say like I need the wisdom to use the right words. Somebody has waited to turn into the King of Swords to manifest this miracle because I feel like somebody feels like they're going to have to really use some very intelligent, sharp words in order to not be cut out of the competition. Because somebody here feels like there's competition. We have the Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. Somebody doesn't want to wait anymore. They've been holding on to the idea of this, holding on to this manifestation. Since, since it's been silent. So we have a sacred union, two people that are in separation here. So this person, even though that there's been an ending collective, they're still holding on to you energetically and they don't want to let go. In fact, this person I feel is trying to manifest you. What they don't realize is that things aren't as they seem on the surface. I think that what they don't know is that you probably are also manifesting them you don't know that they're manifesting you. I think you feel it, but you don't know it. It's almost like a feeling in the gut. 
but you're scared to be wrong. So I don't think that you're really saying anything out loud is what I want to say. Okay, who is this person? Tell me about this person. King of Wands. Someone you're very attracted to. Um, someone who is uh, kind of impulsive. A tiny bit egoic, but it comes from their success as being a king. And also being able to really corral their passions. This King of Wands is still always going to go in for the passion first. doesn't matter what the subject matter is, whether it's a, a, a person or a situation or a job or ruling the kingdom. We've got the Queen of Pentacles here. Why is that? We've got the Eight. Nope, sorry, the Nine of Pentacles. So I feel that what is attractive to you is stability. I think that's what you're looking for. You're manifesting. I don't think you're manifesting one specific person. I mean, you could be Pisces, Cancer, Virgo, Aries, um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Sagittarius, Leo, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It's all here. So you could be manifesting someone specific, but I don't think you are. I think what you're manifesting is someone that you're highly attracted to and someone who gives you balance. You could be a fire sign or an earth sign. Could be an air sign. I think you want to know if the Queen of Pentacles is free, is single. I think maybe this is what you're watching, right? We did we we did uh, pull up the yeah, the page of swords. Somebody could be watching you. Someone who is someone who is probably a fire sign and is sees that you're doing it all yourself, that you're single, you're abundant. You're someone who really is like keeping it all together, keeping yourself grounded, being really persistent in your goals. The, uh, the earth sign is a really good balance for the fire sign. King of Wands is a Leo, but also Sagittarius and Aries in this reading because it's a general reading. And uh, those two energies kind of even each other out, you know. Got the five of swords in the reverse. I don't want to fight. I don't want to argue. Why is this here? Chariot. So this person does want to move forward to you. They, they want to move forward. The manifesting of the miracles, I think, is someone that you haven't seen in forever or talked to in a long while. The manifesting of miracles, it says your dream is soon to become reality. So I think the dream that's becoming reality is that you have enough wisdom now that you, you're in your swords and you can talk to anybody any which way that you want because you're smart enough to do so. I also feel like your person's highly intelligent, Taurus, or, or um, a fire sign, right? I feel like chariot for sure is cancer that's super intelligent energy very business-like energy but it also feels like somebody is doesn't want to fight but they're not willing to bring their feelings to the surface at this time so if you're over here i feel like you're manifesting someone who's not really emotionally available who's going to move really quick but is not yet emotionally available someone who is you're very passionate about you have great chemistry with what's attractive is they like that you give them stability pentacle world whether you move slower or you don't react to them maybe you respond to them and they're used to being reacted to because it feels like it's a, a, a lot of fire we have the four of cups i feel like you've been single for a while <laughs> i want to say because of this taurus energy here because the queen of the the queen of pentacles capricorn um taurus Virgo, right i don't think you're into the bullshit I, I just think that you are you're in your power like you're standing there by yourself saying look I've, I've already got the nine pentacles i'm looking for the one but it can't be someone who is codependent can't make their own money doesn't have a place to live like it, you know i think that you are that the, the queen of pentacles would never accept anything less than a king I think that this side belongs to the King of Wands, and this side, I believe, belongs to the King of Swords. Now, this is where we talk about energies. I'm an energy reader. I don't care what body part you're carrying. It doesn't tell me what's going on in the inside. What I do is I feel you out, and that's what I do when I read. I feel it out. So I feel like 
the person that's over here, highly intelligent, very analytical, always tells the truth, very much about the facts. I don't really care if I cut you with my sword. I'm just always going to be very honest with you. Person over here is impulsive, passionate, sexy. You know, they're caliente, <laughs> right? They're beautiful. Like, they're, they're not Superman, they're kryptonite. <laughs> that's what it feels like. Yeah, but you balance them out. Like, I don't think that they understood. I feel like they're attracted to the balance that you give them. I don't think that they really understood that they would ever be attracted to someone who moves slower, gives them stability. But what I want to say is that you've been single for a long time. And if it's just the King of Wands that's coming by with the chariot, I don't know that you're down for it because Five of Swords is in the reverse. I really don't want to talk about it. Yeah, four is like redundant energy. It's not the three, it's not the five, right? <laughs> yeah, the party's over. It's not fun anymore. We have the two of pentacles. Eight of pentacles, that's ten pentacles. And three more pentacles. It is all about someone who is looking for a lot of stability or someone to ground them. Like, not tell them they have to stay home because they've been bad. <laughs> I know, I'm silly. Someone actually said that to me in the comments. Oh, you're ridiculous. Oh, yes, I am. Move along. <laughs> Joke's on you. I'm still ridiculous. <laughs> All right. Anyways, back to it. So, um, gotta laugh, y'all. Gotta laugh. So, there's the two pentacles. So, you're very busy in your pentacle world. Or they are. I'm sorry. This is their side. They're very busy in, in their pentacle world. We've got um, the eight pentacles here. They're probably working multiple jobs. Yeah, this person probably has more than one job to create their stability in the 3D world. I think that they want the partnership with you. They know that you move slow, that you're the one that can, you know, hold up another side of a partnership. But I really do believe that this person is very busy in the pentacle world, probably working two jobs. Yeah. And I guess the challenge here then is, you know, can we get it past the three? Can we push more than three pentacles up the hill? Because, you know, I think that you two know each other. And, uh, you know, this is a sacred union. You two know each other. And I feel like you, you have built something in the 3D. I think you're hopeful that we're ready. This person's ready to work on a long-term relationship. I'm going to say that eventually they probably will. But understand, please, we're looking at pentacles. We've got a lot of pentacles here. Pentacles are years, right? So it's going to take a long time to move forward. This person could be cancer. You know, could be someone who is... Um, fire sign, I think. Pisces, Cancer, Aries. I think there's a lot of magic happening in the dark. Like a lot of things are going on behind the scenes. On your side here. A lot of things are going on behind the scenes that you don't know and you don't see. You just keep trying to manifest the miracles. I think it's going to transpire here because the magician's here. So we got the two of swords. Somebody wants to make a decision, right? So we've got the two of pentacles and the two of swords. So it's a hard decision that someone's got to make, that they're going to have to move things around in their pentacle world in order to accommodate whatever it is that you two are going to be doing in this sacred union. Just going to give you a little more of a view. Sorry about that. There we go. All right, so yeah, decision making time. There it is, <laughs> right? <laughs> Three of Cups. There it is. It's decision making time. It's this person gets a realization that they got to make a decision to ask you out, take you out, do something because they've been very, very focused on their livelihood. This person works a lot of jobs, they're keeping their pentacle life moving, right? Uh, this person, I feel, does want to come towards you, but you haven't really been giving them the energy that you're ready for them. You've been giving them the energy of boredom. This is no fun anymore. I don't want to do this anymore. It could be because the king maybe isn't giving you much stability. The king is going to give you more stability than the knight is, but, you know, the king's still going to be impuls impulsive and come in for the, um, for the, the physical aspect first. So what I want to say is someone changes their mind. There's an important moment here where this person, whoever this is, is going to change their mind and they're either going to communicate or ask you out. One of the two. This is this, the other person who's in this sacred union. I just want to know who we're talking about. Who's in the sacred union? What are we using? Okay. Okay. 
Who's in the sacred union? It almost feels like um, you two have been very busy in your own worlds and not really connecting, but you're still thinking about each other. And I think that the king is really attracted to you because of your stability. But I also think you're the king of swords, so maybe it's a little bit intimidating for the king to go up against someone who's as smart as he or she, right? Two kings together, um, both highly intelligent, very capable, running their own kingdoms in different ways. One's running it passionately, one's running it in logic and grounded facts. Okay, tell me about the sacred union. Who's this? We've got the queen of pentacles in the reverse. So the sacred union could be between someone who is... Taurus Virgo Capricorn, who is working on themselves currently. We have the Devil. Again, we've got Capricorn. There's the decision. Someone is scared to make a decision about the person who's working on themselves. Decision. They are going to make the decision. We saw right here, right? There's a realization. This person realizes that you are the Nine of Cups, which is the sacred union. So it could be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, looks like it could be a Capricorn here. Again, air sign, earth sign, fire sign, whatever it works out to be for you. Um, two of Wands. I think somebody's going back to the crossroads. Could be someone who's a Leo. Doesn't have to be. But it looks like whoever this is, whoever's bringing you the sunshine, once you decide to... Go on the adventure. Yeah, the expansion is yours. The sun is here. It's giving you clarity. I think this really is true love. I think that you're going to get clarity about the Ace of Cups. This person is someone who, who disconnected from you in the past. And Five of Wands is now they feel like there is a, they're feeling a little bit intimidated about coming in. That there might be some competition for your attention. We have someone who has decided that they're going to take their part in whatever part that they had. And bringing you two away from each other. Somebody here wants a second chance for a commitment with you. Knight of Pentacles has taken a long while to get here. Knave of Cups. Oh, look, there's the tower. It's a surprise. You're not going to see it coming. This person hasn't spoken with you. You haven't had connection with them. The moon card is here. It's been dark. There's been really nothing. I think that they're coming out of the darkness at you like a shark in the night. <laughs> yeah, I think you're not going to see them until it's like too late. Because you're in the Four of Cups, right? As we set up here. You're in the Four of Cups right now. You're not going to see it till it till it's kind of in your face. All right, someone's making a decision about the about wish fulfillment. It's scaring the hell out of them, and you are the one. I feel that you are probably someone who is, if you are not uh, an Earth sign, you are someone who is working on yourself, and you're not even looking at this person. You're working on you and manifesting miracles. Yeah. All right, I'm going to go. Thank you for watching this. I appreciate you so, so, so much. See you in the in the comments. If you want to tell me if this belongs to you or not, that would be great. And I'm going to go for now. I'm going to love seeing all your comments. Thanks for reaching out for thumbs up. I'm going to go. Bye-bye.